we're going to use concatenation here to concatenate multiple columns together. So we'll select the first name, then we'll select the last name, then notice in blue we're going to select the first name and then I will concatenate with two pipe symbols. Look on your keyboard and notice just above the enter key if you were to hold the shift key down and go pipe pipe just above that enter key that's the double pipe symbol. Do not have any spaces in there. That's the hardest thing to find. So you can see here again, we got first name, double pipe. Then we've got a literal space, literal. So it's going to put a space after that. Then we've got our double pipe again. And now we'll have the last name and we'll call that full name. And we use a where clause to just get where the first name's equal to squiggy. So we've got our report. First name, squiggy. Last name, Jones. Full name, Squiggy Space Jones. I've got three columns on this report. As you get better with SQL, you will just write this by hand as fast as possible. We're going to combine several commands. Watch this. Look at the report at the end. I want to see Squiggy, the first name, Jones, the last name, and then I want to see the first initial followed by a period of their first name, and then a space and their last name. Look how we do it. We're going to say, select first name and last name, substring first name, comma, one for one to just get the first initial of the first name. Then we're going to concatenate that with a period space, and then concatenate that with the last name, and voila. We have done the job. Let's take it to the next level. Now watch this. Let's look at the report. I've got Squiggy, the first name, Jones, the last name, and then I've got Jones followed by a single space, and then the first initial of the first name followed by a period. We're going to have to do many things together to get this done. We select the first name. We select the last name. Then we're going to trim the last name because we got to get rid of those spaces on that car 20. Now we've got Jones. Then we're going to concatenate that with a single space. Then we're going to concatenate that even further with a substring of first name from one for one. And that's how we do it. Take a look at the query and I want you to notice the pipe symbols. Somebody has put in here pipe space pipe. You can barely see that there's a space in there and this is going to give you an error and it's not going to be easy to find. So make sure if you're concatenating, it's pipe pipe. That's the only way it's going to work. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.